I put out a video a couple of weeks ago about how to create dynamic forms using ACF and also the Piotnet plugin. Now, I was informed by one of the subscribers on the channel. This is Ronan Abbottbull. Now, I've probably butchered that name, and if I have, I do apologize. But he said you could do exactly the same thing directly inside the Elementor form builder. Well, today I'm going to show you how to do that so you don't need another third party plugin. We can dynamically generate the email address that we want to send a form to, and we're going to use that with a previous video where I showed you how to create a business listing website. So, this is the kind of thing we're going to do. This is one of the business listing entries. And if we scroll down, we now have a contact, the business name form, and then you can go through and you can fill that out. And then the email address for that specific business that's pulled from an advanced custom fields field will then be used to send the email. So if you're interested in finding out how you can use these all in combination together, stick around and I'll take you through the entire process right now. My name is Paul C. This is WP Touch, the channel where I help you get more from WordPress. If this is your first time on the channel and you'd like to learn more, click on that subscribe button and smash that bell icon to become part of the WP crew and be notified every time new content is added to the channel. So where are we? We've created the business listing website. And if you haven't seen this video and it's something that interests you, I'd recommend checking that out. I'll drop a link in the description and put a card in the corner right now so you can take a look at that. But what we have is a template that has this contact form on it. And we have an advanced custom field setup with meta fields in there. And one of those meta fields is the email address for this specific business. If we scroll back up, you can see there's the email address listed. So we need to use that. To do that, we need to hop back over into the template we've set up for this business listing. This is a single post template linked through to the advanced custom fields business listing. And we've already created a form. This is just your typical Elementor Pro form. We've inserted it, we've added some styling to it, but nothing else has been done. Let's select the form. And what we're going to do, if we come over to the left-hand side now, we can see all the settings that are available. As you can see, we can give this a form name so we could call this business contact. Now, this is just something that I would say is good practice. We then have the default fields you have as part of any kind of Elementor Pro form. So you can change this to whatever you want. You can put name, email, phone number, anything at all. That's not important in this example. What we want to do, though, is come down to actions after submit. If we click to open that up. Email is the default action after after submit. Now, you can change this. You can add to it what you can do, whatever you want. But as long as that email is an option when you submit the form, we then have have this email tab underneath. Now by default, when you open this up, you'll normally have the two fields pre-populated and it'll be the sort of email address that you've got as either part of your setup or it'll be the default admin address. Not what we want. So we need to change that. We need to have a way of referencing the ACF field that has the email address we want to use. To do that is very easy. Come back up to our form field section and from there, we're gonna add a new item. The item type is gonna be set to be hidden. So we won't see it as part of a form. No one can fill this in. We're just gonna pre-populate it with the information that we want. Jump over to the advanced section, and in there you can see it says default value and ID. We can reference dynamic content inside this default value. So what we're gonna do is gonna click on the default, on the dynamic option, scroll down to our ACF fields, expand that out. Once we've done that, it now says we're going to be using an ACF field, and to tell it which field we want to use, we need to click on the little wrench icon. So we're gonna click on that, Underneath the key section, we're going to find the business email, which is the ACF field that will hold the data for this email address for this specific business. Click on that. You can go to advanced if you want to, and we can say before and after. However, we don't need to do anything on there. We just basically set in what we want. Now, in the field ID, this is optional, but I would recommend doing it. This is where we're going to give this sort of short code a custom ID. So we're going to call this biz underscore email. So something that's unique to what this particular shortcode is going to reference. Now, by putting that inside there, you can see the shortcode underneath now picks up that ID. So what we're going to do is we're going to select that, right click, copy it. And we're done now with adding that item in there. So we're going to close that down. We're going to come over to the email tab again. And from there, we're going to get rid of the two field. And we're just going to basically drop in that short code. So now we've got that short code that references the ACF field that was set as a hidden field inside the form field section right at the top. Now we can update that. If you want to go and set anything else up, we can do that. So things like the additional options, we can set anything in there or actions have to submit or submit button, anything you want to do on there, style it, all those kinds of things. However, now what we've done is we've set that up to be the recipient's email address. 
And if you want to set anything up like the from name and the reply to all those kinds of things, you can set that up inside this. So we can say the email field for the reply to. So then when the business gets that email directly from this business listing site, they can reply back to the actual person that sent it using the email address that's inserted as part of this form. And that's how easy it is to use dynamic data pulled in from ACF directly inside your email forms using just Elementor Pro. A super simple technique that requires no more plugins. So a big thank you to Ronan for bringing that to my attention. You're a star. If you want to learn more about WordPress, Elementor, ACF, all these kinds of good things, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash the bell icon to be notified every time new content is added. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you've got any comments, questions, or feedback on anything we cover on this particular video or anything else on the channel, drop those in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. I try to answer as many questions as possible. As always, my name has been Paul C. This has been WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.